Hi everyone, this is Bucky with Transit and Level Clinic. In this short tutorial video, we are going to go over a question that we are asked all the time. How do I do a one-point localization in Spectra Precision Survey Pro? First, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please click on the subscribe button below. You can also click on the bell to be notified when we post new videos. Our tutorial videos are done with your support. Please continue to help us produce these videos by purchasing your surveying supplies and equipment through Transit and Level, a 40-year-old family-owned company. Now on to the tutorial. First, I do have Survey Pro pulled up. This is version 6.2. However, the same routine will uh, go for uh, many of the other different versions as well. <clears throat> We're going to start the process by going in and creating a new job. So from our home screen, which is the three dots with the three lines in the top left-hand corner, we'll click on File, and then Open New. From here, we can create a new job, and we'll call this new job Tutorial. And we'll call it Tutorial 123, just in case we have another one there. We'll go into our settings. Again, this is kind of just a tip that we have uh, found works best uh, for those of you in the field using Survey Pro. And that is to never click the Create Job Now button. That Create Job Now button will make sure that any of the last settings that were used within uh, your job are actually brought to the new job. Uh, however, keep in mind that uh, as you're going through your jobs, you are consistently changing settings, or some customers are. Uh, so it is wise to actually go through our settings and just review to make sure everything is the way that we want it to. So we're going to go through our settings, and again, this is mostly default. Um, <clears throat> I won't go through each one of these. They are default values for now. Go next. We will not be using a control file or a reference file for this tutorial video. Next. We will not be selecting a coordinate system. Uh, we do plan to work off of a, a default ground calibration uh, and then localize to the one point uh, that we will add on the next screen. Uh, so we will go ahead and enter our first point. Obviously, this is just a made-up point, uh, something that we've come up with. Uh, however, if you have a known point, uh, let's say for an airport or a road uh, or uh, any kind of job that you're localizing to, you can enter those coordinates here. And we will finish. So first, we want to make sure that we are in uh, GNSS mode. Uh, GNSS mode most easily uh, can be found by on a ranger looking over to the right hand side and on the right hand side you'll see a little picture of a GPS icon. If for some reason you're not in GPS mode you may be in optical mode. Optical mode will give you a picture of a Focus 35, uh, the Spectre Precision robot. Uh, so if you are seeing the instrument icon here you do want to change that over to GNSS mode and you do want to be looking at the receiver. All right. From here, we're going to go back to our main menu, into Survey, and then we will go to Start Survey. For purposes of this tutorial, we will be using Demo Network Rover. And I have all kinds of demo settings that are set up on the back side of this to allow us to get through the tutorial. Keep in mind that when you are using your Network Rover or you're using a Basin Rover, uh, you will need to make sure that those settings are properly uh, put in before you start this process. From here we're going to connect to our rover. Now again I'm kind of tying into a VRS system that is uh, make-believe so from here it doesn't matter what mount point I select however it may uh, matter to you guys which one you select in your... We'll go from here and connect and then it will give us this question do we want to use ground calibration or do we want to use mapping plane? Okay. A lot of you guys have already chosen mapping plane, or maybe uh, you've chose uh, ground calibration, and you've checked the box down here at the bottom to not ask this question again. Now, there's a couple different ways of getting this, this question to prompt back up uh, when you're going through this particular process. The easiest way... <clears throat> is to go back into your 
uh, main menu, go to your job uh, submenu, and then go to settings. Uh, under those settings, you'll find a general settings tab. And then at the bottom, you will see reset optional messages. Uh, from there, if you'll reset the optional messages, of course, it will reset the other messages that come along with Survey Pro. But it will begin bringing up this prompt again, uh, of course, that you can keep by not checking uh, the don't ask me again. So uh, for now, we will be using ground calibration mode. Uh, and we can keep our geoid in there for now. We're on geoid 12B continental U.S. Uh, here in uh, North Carolina at the present time. And we'll accept. The process will then begin to uh, connect to our VRS network. Again, these are general settings, uh, which will include the height of rod. Uh, we're going to go ahead and make that 2 meters. Keep in mind that Survey Pro will automatically convert meters uh, into uh, survey feet or to in or to whatever unit uh, you are using for that particular job. We've turned our post processing recording interval off um, and everything should be ready to go. We'll hit next here. <clears throat> and this is the area where we can select our base point. Okay, so our base point for this is going to be our localization point. Uh, that point, again, is in this job uh, as point number one. And again, we set that for 5,000, 5,100. Uh, from here, we can click Next. It's going to create a geodetic point for the setup. We'll hit OK. We'll call it Base Setup. <clears throat> and here, we can either Occupy Control to do a site calibration or uh, as a special case, we can do uh, this one point localization, which is kind of the reason for this tutorial today. So again, we're going to solve this one point calibration at the base. Again, we're doing this because we're using default ground calibration projection mode. Uh, you started a job with only one point in it. Uh, so this gives you the option of doing that one point localization to create a coordinate system for your job. Here you can tap one point to set up the ground level survey at the reference height displayed on the screen. Since there's only one point in the job to start, it is not fixed by local grid coordinates. So only translation needs to be solved, which is possible from a single point. So again, we we'll select one point and then we are ready to go. So from here out, uh, we have translated to the uh, coordinate system that we started with, uh, localized to that point, and now we are ready to continue uh, taking new points, uh, etc. in this survey. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to give us a call. We can be reached at 919-467-7782. You can email us at sales, S-A-L-E-S, at transitandlevel.com, and is spelled out. Uh, or visit our website at www.transitandlevel.com. We appreciate you watching this tutorial video. Please make sure you message below to let us know we're doing a good job. And if you have any other tutorial recommendations, uh, please feel free to post those in the remarks below.